Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, 99 again and uh, today I'm back with you and I'm going to be showing you how to sample in from an outside source into your iPad using the new audio tracks feature. And to do this, you're going to need an external piece of equipment. And um, the device I'm going to be using today is called the Mobile In by Line 6. And uh, I picked up this from Guitar Center for about 79 bucks. So uh, you're going to need this to do it. Okay, so uh, here we have the uh, Line 6 uh, mobile in, and you can see the 15-pin connector right here. It looks like your uh, iPod charger, iPad charger. You're going to need this. You're going to need a male-to-male -male headphone jack because you're going to be plugging one in, one end in right here in the, the Line In port. So let's go ahead and do that. And then you plug this end into... You know uh, whatever you have like maybe an iPod or uh, your computer or like a laptop or something I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into my iPhone now that the the concepts the same you can do the same thing for a turntable or whatnot you just got to make sure you have a, a left and right Y splitter that goes into a, a headphone jack so you can plug it into here now once we get this we're just gonna go ahead and plug this into the iPad like so and now when you turn on uh, Beatmaker it should get automatically recognized you may have to download the mobile or the Line 6 uh, app it's gonna prompt you when you first get it so okay we've opened up Beatmaker and uh, let's go ahead and open up an audio track alright so what we're gonna do here is uh, click on the uh, headphone jack and it's gonna take you to the audio track settings and from here, what you're going to do is uh, tap input 2, because input 2 is the, the uh, audio device. Input 1 is going to let you use your iPad uh, microphone that's back here somewhere. So that's audio 1. So if you do that, you can talk into it and it'll record like that. But if you use audio 2 or input 2, uh, you can use whatever you have plugged into your audio device. So I'm going to hit arm recording. I'm going to monitor so I can hear it through uh, my headphones or the iPad speaker if you don't have headphones. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you that I'm going to be that I'm going to hit play on. And I can hear it in my headphones because it's monitoring. So I'm going to go ahead and stop that. Okay, just X out of this. Uh, go ahead and X out here. You see the red dot right here? That means it's armed for recording. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit record. And once the red starts going, that means it's recording that track. And I'm going to hit play on my, my iPhone again. Alright, let's go ahead and stop that. I'm going to stop the recording. And see, there it is right there. Now, I recommend that you turn whatever device you have on close to full volume because this records in kind of low. So, <clears throat> now that you have it, there it is. You hit play. And you can advance the cursor over here. I guess not. And there's your sample. So you can go ahead and truncate it. Okay, so you've got everything truncated. You hit this little document icon right here, and it'll let you save as. So I'm going to save. I'm going to go ahead and save it in here as um, sample. And now you have it there. So I'm going to go ahead and mute this track. I'm going to open up a drum machine. 
Okay, let's go ahead and load my sample. Quick load. My content. Okay, so it should be in here, and this is it right here. I named it sample. So there you go. And now it's on this pad. I'm going to go ahead and go in there and edit the bounds. I guess it didn't save that before. Not sure why. And that's how you sample into your iPad.